Hi everyone, welcome to our Monday live stream. It's great to see so many of you here today. I'm telling you guys, it is so much fun to hang out in the chat early and just see people popping in from all over the world. There's people here from Beirut, from India, from Germany, uh, all over the US and Canada and happy Victoria Day to all you Canadians. Um, the Canadians in the chat earlier were saying you're having a, a celebration today with fireworks and everything else. So hope you guys have a great day celebrating there in Canada. So today our question, we have Trevor from Canada and I know lots of other Canadian viewers on as well and people from all over the country. Here in California, we are getting some unseasonably cool weather. We had some hot days at the beginning of the spring in the 80s and up to 90 and now it's not even getting above 70. And we're having tons of storms all over the US as well, which definitely does affect our gardens. So, um, but today we're talking about cucumbers and just a few little basics about cucumbers before we jump in is that they love the warm weather um, they really like to be planted in temperatures between like nighttime temperatures of 50 to uh, probably 65 degrees and they love the daytime temperatures between 60 and 85 degrees so plant them when the weather is warm um, for the best growth um, however, if you get them planted early, not a big deal, but they just might not take off until the weather gets warmer. So just keep that in mind when you're planting your cucumbers. I don't know about you guys, but I love a fresh cucumber. And when I don't have them growing in my garden, I really don't even like to buy them in the store because it's so hard to find good ones. They just aren't very tasty. So I'm really looking forward to cucumbers this summer and I know you guys are too. There's lots of um, questions flying by in the chat and what, how we're gonna do it is, I'm gonna give a couple of tips and then head back into the chat to answer as many questions as I can. So let's jump right in guys. The first tip for growing lots of cucumbers this summer, which I know all of you guys want to do is, let me find my notes here, is first of all, succession plant. Cucumbers are one of the easiest things you can succession plant. And if you don't know what succession planting is, that just means you're planting every so often, like every two to three weeks, you're planting new seeds, you're putting new transplants in your garden. That way you keep the harvest coming and you can grow lots and lots of cucumbers. Now cucumbers go from seed to harvest under the right conditions in about six weeks. So um, they're a great vegetable to start with. If you're getting started a little bit late in the growing season, you can definitely get seeds started now. Get those seeds going either inside under grow lights or outside. You can direct seed them right in your garden beds. And then in about two to three weeks, plant some more seeds. Cause that way, once your first crop of cucumbers is done, um, they've run their course, you, you've been able to harvest a lot of cucumbers, you're gonna have other plants there to take its place. So actually I'm gonna be starting some brand new cucumbers this week. <laughs> a little hummingbird just flew by, it was so much fun. Um, some brand new seeds this week and getting some new plants growing. So first tip to grow a lot of cucumbers in your garden is to succession plant. You guys gotta try it. They're so easy to plant and you're gonna love having a fresh harvest of cucumbers all throughout the summer months and even into the fall. So I see that camera guy is here in the chat. Our moderator is everything sunflowers and more. Her name is Christy. Camera guy's name is camera guy or Jerry in the chat. So chat it up guys. I wanna head into the chat and answer your questions. I'm seeing the comments fly by and it's so much fun to see so many people returning week after week. It's great to see the, um, the community building here and the relationships that are going on. People really genuinely caring about each other from week to week here on the chat, checking in with their gardens, checking in with um, personal stuff going on. And it's really very heartwarming um, to me and to Jerry as well. So let's see if we've got some uh, questions about cucumbers. Okay, Alice, hi. Alice is one of our longtime viewers and is a regular here on the live streams. And Alice, your question is, how do I get the plant to climb the trellis? I keep having to weave them on it. Okay, Alice, um, cucumbers don't always grab on and climb up very well. So I usually have to weave mine um, up the trellis as well. Um, I've got some little plants right here and they're not growing very fast because of our cool weather, 
but you can see I've got like a little TP trellis in here. This, this is my sunflower stock trellis. And what I like to do is just check the plants every couple of days. And I was just tying up another plant behind me this morning with this little stretchy tie tape stuff. This stuff is amazing. It's super inexpensive. I think it's a couple of dollars a roll and I usually pick some up on Amazon. I'll put the link in the video description. But the reason why I like it is because you don't have to have scissors. You can just like pull it right off and then just kind of guide your plants up the trellis and you can use this to kind of tie it on. So some plants grab the trellises really well. The peas had those little tendrils, um, the scarlet runner beans. I don't have to do anything to tie them up, but the cucumbers do need a little bit of guidance. So um, yeah, get that going there and you'll be just great. Um, Shilen, will they produce well in a pot? Yes, cucumbers do great in containers. They're one of my favorite container plants because they're so easy to plant in containers. And um, they don't um, need a ton of space as long as you're growing them vertically, which we're gonna actually get to that in just a moment. Um, but right here I have them growing in a little um, five gallon smart pots. This is one of my, um, my Cali Kim smart pots. It's a little five gallon and it works absolutely beautifully for containers. You don't really need a huge container. I've got three little cucumber plants in here. I also have some pea plants in here because I thought it was gonna get too hot for the peas so I popped in the cucumbers. But now the weather is just in the 60s and low 70s so they're actually both doing pretty well for now. Um, so I've got three or four pea plants and some cucumber plants. Three cute plants is about the right size for this five gallon. I also have some in a 10 or 15 gallon uh, smart pots in another uh, part of my garden. And um, they're doing really well there too. So yeah, if you don't have a lot of space, definitely get some planted in a container. Um, kind of the sky's the limit with that. You can plant a bunch in a big container or just a few in a small container. And you can pick up these Cali Kim containers on my website. Oh, and you guys, I forgot to tell you, I just posted on Instagram. I am running a Happy Monday sale today so that um, you guys can get some containers, get some seeds, get your cucumbers planted. If you use the code GARDENFRESH over at CaliKimGardenHome.com, you're gonna get 15% uh, off all seeds and also my Cali Kim uh, Smart Pots container. So head over there and and pick up your seats and get yourself started right away. Okay guys, yes, happy Monday sale. It's a great way to kick off the week with some gardening supplies. And let's jump in, jump back and talk about our, oh, I forgot, the viewer of the week, I almost forgot. Um, this is a viewer of the week that is actually very special to me. She is a longtime viewer and a super big encourager for camera guy and i on our channel in her comments and emails and everything else and i absolutely loved 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 a comment that she left on um, a video over the weekend so this is patricia treadway and i think she's here i think i saw her earlier in the chat and she wrote just the, the best comment it is um i love your videos i always get inspired this morning, as I was doing my own coffee walk, I paused and a dove landed on my shoulder. What a feeling of peace. You guys, isn't that amazing? I feel more inspired than I am now living my best life. You have a lot to do with that because with each new video, an I a new idea is planted. Uh, every idea is either a successful, a, a success or a learning experience. There are no failures. Patricia, I was just so touched. I was almost brought to tears. I read it to camera guy as well. And what an amazing um, journey you've been on with your health, improved your health through going, growing your own food, growing your own vegetables and really persevered through some trials. And I just want to commend you and acknowledge you here for, um, for how you've been able to change your life. And guys, She's absolutely right. Um, if you haven't done your coffee walks, uh, you might have been watching my coffee walk videos, you got to try it in the morning. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, even if it's just for a few moments, and head outside to your garden. What an experience to have a dove land on your shoulder. I just feel like that's a sign for Patricia um, of wonderful things in her life, and what a feeling of peace that must have flooded your heart there, Patricia. So guys, um, encourage Patricia and congratulations for getting viewer of the week. If you're having any wonderful things happen to you out in the garden, please, please leave me a comment. I would love to read that here on the live stream and um, give you the viewer of the week for the week. So thank you so much, Patricia, for sharing. Okay, guys, let's talk about the second tip for growing lots of cucumbers in your garden. The first one being succession plant, succession plant, succession plant. Cucumbers are the best thing to do that with. Um, the second one is, 
Oh, and I wanted to mention with succession planning too, a great variety for container growing is the Space Master Cucumber, since some of you were asking about growing in containers. This is actually a smaller variety of cucumbers. They grow from seed to harvest, probably in about maybe uh, 60 days or so, so maybe about six to eight weeks. And they're more compact, so they're very well suited for containers. I would highly recommend this variety. And they are in my late summer garden collection, which um, if you guys want a collection of quick growing vegetables, I would recommend you picking this up on my website. It has seven vegetables that are quick growing. They're ideal to plant in the late summer, but also um, in the summertime at some point, if you're just kind of slow getting started and want some quick growing crops, there's these Space Master cucumbers, um, some squash, Let's see what else. Oh, the tiny Tim tomato, that beautiful little tiny dwarf tomato, which is an amazing plant. Some little um, Thumbelina zinnias, they're called. And what else do I have in that collection? Um, some great quick growing vegetables. Oh yeah, some chard and some beans. So grab this guys, if you're just getting off to a late start, get some seeds planted, because most of these go from seed to harvest in about six to eight weeks. So they're a really good one if you're um, just a little bit late to the growing game, which is no big deal. You know, we all try and put ourselves on this timeline, but really it's all about growing your own veggies and having fun. Okay, back to our second tip here. Um, with cucumbers, super important if you wanna grow a lot of cucumbers, make sure that you keep your watering and your fertilizing consistent, especially when they're fruiting and flowering. So um, cucumbers need a lot of water because they're mostly made up of water. They're nice and juicy and you wanna keep them well hydrated and well fertilized. So um, if this is a tough thing for you to do, I would highly recommend installing drip irrigation. Easy to install in containers or in garden beds. You can go back and check out my videos on that. But um, if the cucumbers dry out, if their roots dry out, they get stressed and they tend not to produce as many cucumbers and they also um, tend to be bitter. So I know, um, you know, bitter cucumbers are not good at all. So keep them well watered and fertilized if you're not getting rain in your area. And just check your soil, you know, every day or every couple of days by sticking your finger in the soil, seeing if it feels wet or if it feels dry, you're gonna need to water. And make sure that they're getting watering on a regular basis. Now, I do wanna show you guys something exciting is that I have a cucumber plant right behind me here. And this morning, literally this morning, I had no idea. I pulled the plant up to look at it and I have my very first cucumber on it. And I'm hoping to harvest it um, maybe maybe on a coffee walk this week. What do you guys think? Um, I had no idea this was, this was even here. Can you guys see that? This is a market more cucumber. And I am super excited about this. I haven't had a garden fresh cucumber probably since um, late summer. So it, it's looking absolutely amazing. And you can see actually the flowers I think are not blooming at the moment, but there were some blooming yesterday. There's some teeny tiny little cucumbers somewhere under here. So I'm gonna really be watching this plant right now because it is starting to fruit and flower and I wanna make sure that's getting adequate water and adequate fertilizer. So um, for fertilizer, when I first plant them, I use a fertilizer higher in nitrogen, like the uh, uh, Good Dirt uh, plant food has a 10% nitrogen, so it's really good to produce the nice leafy growth. And then about every probably three to four weeks here in a garden bed, I'll water it with the Vermisteria worm tea because that is um, really a gentle fertilizer, but it will keep the plant hydrated as well as give it that slow and steady growth that it needs to keep producing. So um, all those links are in the video description along with um, discount codes if you're interested in picking some of those up or you can just spread some compost around the base of your plant and water it in very thoroughly. But definitely keep it watered and fertilized on a regular schedule. So first tip for lots of cucumbers, succession plant. Second tip, make sure it gets consistent water and fertilizer, especially important for cucumbers. Okay guys, let's see here into the chat and let's see uh, if there's some questions about cucumbers or about anything else here. Um, la, 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 let's see. I saw Alexi, Alexis, first praying mantis. Oh, that's awesome. Those are great for um, help with a natural pest control there. Um, Garden Obsessions, hi, how are you? Welcome to the live stream today. How do you feel about them growing in hanging containers? Uh, I've never tried it, but I think they would work really, really well in a hanging container. I think they'd be really pretty on your patio and I would love um, to give it a try myself. So if you try it, Garden Obsessions, let us know how things go. Okay, this is from Swathi. 
uh, Janie. Hi, Callie. I'm gardening. That's great. I love watching your videos. All your tips helped me a lot, especially using cinnamon powder for fungus gnats. It's working great. That's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Those fungus gnats can be such a pain, um, especially if they're getting all over your inside garden. Okay, um, Miria Rose. Hi. Any tips for aphids all over my strawberries? Oh, those aphids are such a pain, aren't they? Um, first line of defense is spray down your plant with water and just wash the aphids off. That's what I like to do whenever I see bugs on my plants. Um, I would try that for a couple of days and see if you can take care of it that way. A lot of times you wash off those tiny little aphids and they don't climb back up on your plants. But if you are continuing to have problems, I would definitely pick up some neem oil and spray your plants with the neem oil. I've got videos on how to do that so, you're, so you know exactly what to do. Um, I pick mine up from um, therestedgarden.com. He's got great neem oil there. It's, it's very inexpensive. And it has an ingredient um, that you really need um, called azadiractin to be effective against the chewing and sucking insects. So I would highly recommend um, giving that a go. Okay here, Cliff says, the camera guy's telling me, Cliff says the milk spray worked good. Okay, Cliff, that's awesome. And he grows a ton of giant vegetables. I think he just said he just planted like 100 pumpkins or something crazy like that. So um, if you guys are having problems with powdery mildew, which I'm sure we will because of all the rain we're getting, um, go back and check out the milk uh, milk prevention or powdery mildew prevention with milk spray. I think you use um, like one part milk to eight parts water and spray it on your plants and it really does help with that powdery mildew. So you can get all the details on that on my um, YouTube channel. Okay guys, we are gonna go back and talk about our third tip for growing lots of cucumbers. Okay, um, let's see here. Oh. This was kind of referred to or alluded to a little bit earlier is make sure that you're growing them on a trellis grow them vertically um, they love to they're a vining plant for the majority most of them are vining plants they like to um, be grown vertically to not only to save space which is really important especially if you're really limited on space but also just to keep them up off the ground and help the bugs not to chew on them or the slugs and the snails and it just helps give them that airflow keeps them healthier keeps the bugs off of them now as i just mentioned cucumbers are very prone to powdery mildew and powdery mildew is a disease that's very hard to get rid of once it starts in your garden and it happens when your plants get wet and stay wet so if they're on a trellis like this one here um, they're gonna, I'm gonna be tying them up to the trellis. They get that airflow going through underneath them. The, the leaves dry out during the rainy season or if you have to spray them, it helps the leaves dry out. And it really does help cut down on the diseases and the pests eating your cucumbers. And guys, it looks so pretty in the garden to see some um, natural looking trellises like this one with the cucumbers just climbing on them or the peas or whatever you have growing vertically. It's just so pretty and it really makes good use of your space. You can fit like two or three times much more into your garden beds or into your containers if you're growing vertically. And last week, I think it was last week or maybe the week before, I posted a video on some super easy DIY trellises that aren't expensive. You might even have a lot of the supplies already laying around your, your garden or your garage or your shed. These are sunflower stalks that I dried from last year and just put into a little teepee. Let me kind of pull back a little bit so you guys can see that, see the top of it there. And um, my little cucumbers are gonna just grow right on that little teepee. And then right behind me, this one here is a tomato cage. And I just put a, a tree branch in the middle. We just trimmed some trees. I put a tree branch in the middle and then I'm gonna be tying up the cucumbers to the tree branch as they grow. So I thought that would look kind of pretty and really natural looking in the garden. So there's also a lot of really beautiful um, pre-made trellises on Amazon and all over the internet that you can find if you have a little bit more money to spend. But definitely grow them vertically and you are gonna get a lot more production out of them. Oh, Jerry's telling me the rusted garden is here. Okay, Gary is in the house. Hello, Gary, it's great to have you here. And uh, man, Gary, what do you wanna say here? Taking the break between patients, but things are going well. Hope you both are enjoying your day. Thanks a lot, Gary, for joining us in your break time there. And guys, if you have not checked out Gary's channel, you have got to. He is building an amazing brand new garden at his new homestead in Maryland. And everything on his channel, he's showing from start to finish, building raised beds, 
um, building trellises, all kinds of inexpensive ways to garden. He also has a wonderful seed shop and you can get neem oil from him. So, you know, you can get just about everything over on Gary's seed shop. So Gary, thanks a lot for being here and we will definitely be following um, the progress of your garden. Okay guys, let me head into the chat here and see what questions we have about growing cucumbers or anything else going on. Um, Angela, great question here. She is asking, how are those beefsteak challenges going for the both of you? Um, for me, it's coming along just great. Uh, I posted an update video last week on how my seedling is growing. Um, it's a little bit cool here still. So the one I have growing outside is coming along kind of slowly, but we will be planting my seedling growing inside out in the garden very soon. So you definitely wanna stay tuned for that. And I know Gary has already posted a video on his channel as well on his seedling. So check, th check those out. And if you guys haven't joined the tomato grow off, the rules are over on Gardening Coast to Coast Facebook group. There's a ton of posts over there and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, Jeff Bowler about soil. Reuse soil from unsuccessful plants. Okay, great question, Jeff. Um, I have done that before. Um, I am pretty careful though, if a uh, pot of soil is infested with bugs, you, you may want to sterilize that soil. I know Gary actually has a couple videos on when he did that. I think you, he put it on a cookie sheet in the oven just to get rid of any diseases or pests that might be a kind of lurking around that soil, any bacteria that might be in there. Because if your plant was unsuccessful, maybe there is an issue with the soil. So I would recommend um, checking out that video for how to do that. But I do reuse my um, uh, potting mix in my containers, especially when I'm using the good dirt mix. It stays really light, really fluffy. It's very nutrient dense. I may add just a little, a few more handfuls um, on the top to just kind of add some more nutrients add some more worm castings, and then we're pretty much good to go. So that's one reason why I love the good dirt soil. It's good for planting after planting. Okay, let me see what other questions are in the chat here. Okay, what kind of plant looks like cucumbers, has little tentacles coming out, grabbing the pole like tentacles, but doesn't look like cucumber leaves? That's a tough one. Um, that was from Roberta. Roberta, if you could either post a picture on Instagram or email me a picture on that, Maybe we could help you out there, but without seeing a picture, it's hard to um, hard to identify exactly what that might be. Okay, Amy Boothby, my cucumber says they are bush types. Should I try growing them up still? Um, Amy, most likely if they're a bush type of cucumber, you may not need to trellis them, um, although a lot of bush cucumbers might still grow fairly tall. So um, what you might wanna do is just um, kind of see how they grow. And if they start to look like they're kind of flopping over, just stick a tomato cage or some kind of stake in the, in the container or in the garden bed to give them a little bit of support. But it'll be fun to experiment with a new variety. It's always fun to experiment. And then next year, if you grow that same variety or the next growing season, or the next time you plant, um, you'll know exactly how they grow. So sometimes it just takes that experiments and experimenting to, to kind of figure out how, how good they grow in your area. Okay, from Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Are the late summer garden seeds all compatible to grow in containers? Uh, most of them are. I'm thinking there's one, the squash. Um, actually, you could, could grow it in a larger container. Um, yes, they all are, depending on the size of your container. So there's a straight-necked yellow squash in there that I have grown in like a 10-gallon container before. So um, yes, if you've got a large enough container, you definitely could. The other ones are probably fine to grow in a five gallon container or a 10 gallon container. So yeah, that's one of my very favorite seed collections because they're so fast growing. Okay, let's see how, uh, any more questions in the chat here. And Camera Guy is mentioning 344 people from all over the globe. Yes, it is exciting to have people from all over the world watching, all growing our own food and being a part of this wonderful garden community. Okay, guys, let me head back and talk about tip number four. And I think this is one of the most important tips to help your cucumbers um, grow well and to have really flavorful cucumbers. Now, I mentioned before, cucumbers tend to get bitter sometimes. The biggest thing you can do to harvest, to um, uh, have really sweet tasting cucumbers that aren't bitter and to grow a lot of them, is to harvest harvest them when, when they're young, before they get great, big, huge. So check the variety that you're growing and see what the optimal size is for that variety. 
and then harvest them even a little bit before they get to that size. Because once they get large, they do tend to get bitter. They start, it kind of sends a signal to the plant um, that it's time to start producing seeds and the cucumber itself becomes really seedy. The seeds get larger and the, the ends of the cucumber plant get bitter. But if you harvest them when they're young, like the one I just showed you right behind me here, is really just about the right size. I like them when they're about this size. You can definitely grow them a little bit larger, but this is about maybe four inches long. So I may let it go a couple more days, but um, that one will be nice and sweet and juicy and not super seedy. And you, you wanna harvest them when they're young to get the best flavor out of them. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my tripod here. Um, so yeah, guys, go for it. And now, if you do want to save the seeds, oh, and also, once they get, um, uh, once they grow bigger and it gets really hot outside, then they'll start to kind of turn a yellowish color and you definitely want to get them before they um, get to that point in their growth for the best flavor. Now, if you do harvest your cucumbers and they're bitter, what you can do is just cut the ends off. So a lot of times the bitterness is concentrated at the ends of the fruit. And then the inside or the middle portion of the cucumber will be nice and sweet. So definitely give that a go. Now, that being said, if you're interested in saving seeds from your cucumber, which there was a question about that earlier in the chat, you do want your plant, your, your, your cucumber, to get large. You want to maybe have one plant that you're saving seeds from. Um, but if you want to grow plants true to the parent plant, it does need to be an heirloom variety. So let your cucumber get large and then uh, maybe even turn yellow. The seeds will be on the bigger side. You can just scrape the seeds out of the middle wash the pulp off and then dry your seeds like on a, I like to dry them on a paper plate or a coffee filter, um, something that they'll remove easily from. Once they're completely dry, then you can store them in a plastic bag. So hopefully guys, those four tips help you uh, grow a lot of cucumbers this summer. Make sure you succession plant. Um, I have to look at my list because I can't remember back that far. Succession plant, tip number one. Tip number two, fertilize and water consistently for good production. Grow them vertically on a trellis and harvest them young. So hopefully with those four tips, we will all be growing a lot of cucumbers this summer. And let me head into the chat here. Make sure I covered everything I want to cover. I think I did. <laughs> and see what other questions are, um, are here. Okay, I see a really good one here from Ruby. Um, do cucumbers stop producing once it gets hot, like in the hundreds? Uh, yes, they do. They really like temperatures up to about 85 degrees. And here in California, we get lots of days over 90 and even into the hundreds. So what I really would recommend is if you live in a hot climate, is plant them where they get the morning sun and then do get some shade or even like some dappled shade in the hottest parts of the day. They, they really do seem to do better in those conditions. You can also um, cover them in the afternoons or get some shade cloth, which you can cover them with all day. Um, and the, the shade cloth will allow some of the sun to get through, but then really filter out um, the sunlight in the hot, you know, the intense rays of the sunlight to help them stay alive and keep producing. But yeah, most plants, once it gets over 90, the production really, really slows down. So you might need to shade things a little bit just to help them out in the heat. Okay, Mac is actually right beside me here. Mac, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see him, but he's actually chasing the bees around the garden today. He, the bees drive him crazy. Mac, you gotta say hi, people are asking about you. Look at there, guys. <laughs> okay, we keep telling him, do not chase the bees, but he doesn't listen, and once in a while, he catches one in his mouth, and then he's really sorry. <laughs> so um, anyway, guys, he's doing um, well. Yes, Jerry just mentioned he is having some skin problems, which we're trying to take care of by putting some essential oil, um, coconut oil, that kind of thing on it, but, um, Anyway, we'll keep you posted on Mac and keep watching our videos. Okay, um, how many cucumber plants can you grow in a pot of seven gallons? This is from Susanna. Okay, Susanna, I've got a container right behind me here of five gallons. I've got three plants growing in it. You can see right there. So I've just put one plant in at the bottom of each one of the trellis poles there. And I could probably even fit one more, one or two more plants in it. So I'd say in seven gallons, you could grow at least um, three to five plants and they can actually be spaced pretty closely together. You can space cucumbers. These are spaced about maybe uh, six inches apart 
and um, they seem to do just fine. You don't really have to worry too much about, um, you know, planting them a foot apart or anything. Just do keep them well fertilized in a container because things um, grow or, you know, the water, the fertilizer kind of drains more in a container. So especially in containers, I would recommend fertilizing them probably once a week or so in a container. Okay, Sandy, hello. Do I need to hand pollinate? My cucumbers are inside in a screened cage. Okay, yes, if they're inside, they're not gonna have the bees for pollination. So I do have a video on how to hand pollinate. You can go and check that out. Super easy to do, and I would love to hear the results you get from hand pollination. Oh, we have a super chat from Alexia. Alexia, thank you so much. She, she super chatted $2 with a smiley face sunglasses smiley face alexia you are you have been a great huge um supporter of ours and i really appreciate the super chat thank you so much for joining us today guys okay um what's your favorite cucumber to plant i like market more this is rob from ontario hi rob thanks for watching us from ontario i like market more a lot too i, I have market more planted right behind me that's a wonderful variety and um, this one here is um Space Master, it's more container friendly, although you can really plant any um, cucumbers in a container. And then I really like another one I'm gonna be planting out soon. It's called Pick a Bushel. It's an All America Selections variety. I, I grew it, I think over the past couple years and it's done really, really well. It's also a very good uh, heavy producer and a great um, uh, container variety as well. And if you guys haven't checked out the um, All America Selections website, you can get all of their seeds, find out where you can purchase their seeds over on their website. But All America Selections um, does test gardens where they grow varieties and see which one grows the best. And then whichever one, they have a full panel of judges, whichever one is the winner is deemed the All America Selections winner. And you, it's bound to be a good producer for your garden. So definitely check out um, their website. Okay, are you going to make pickles, Kim? This is from Randy. Um, it kind of depends how many cucumbers I get. I have never done too well with canning pickles. I just haven't found a recipe that I've been successful at. So if anyone has a good recipe for that, I would love to try it out. I've done a lot of refrigerator pickles, which I really, really like, and they actually keep for quite some time in the refrigerator. So um, if you guys have some good recipes for that, um, let me know. And Cliff is saying that his wife says Sensation Cucumber is amazing. Okay, I've never grown that one, Cliff, and I'll definitely have to check that one out. It's always good to know good varieties that have worked for people, other people. Okay, uh, if this is a question from Anne. My cucumber plants are still very small, but has lots of fruits and flowers. Should I pick them off and let the plant grow bigger? Okay, Anne, that's definitely a good option. You definitely want your plant to, um, to really get established, get those roots established, have lots of good leafy growth. I usually just kind of let mine flower and go for it, but what you might want to do is try it out. Try it on one plant, leave one plant um, with the flowers on and see which one grows bigger. So, you know, experiment and see what happens. It'll be a lot of fun in the meantime. Um, I would love for you to come back and let us know your results on that one. Okay, this is a question from Asa Turner. Um, missed the first 20 minutes, but question, male, pla male plants or male flowers won't produce cucumbers? Okay, we didn't talk much about male flowers versus female flowers. Um, but yes, the plant does need both male and female flowers to produce the fruit. So the male flowers are just the flower um, without the fruit underneath. The female flowers have the flower and you'll see a little teeny tiny cucumber underneath that. Um, so be patient because a lot of times the male flowers will pop out first and usually the female flowers won't be far behind. So if you only seen male flowers for now, just hang in there. Um, sometimes if you don't have a lot of bees in your garden, you might need to hand pollinate. Uh, just try that out and see how that works for you or just plant some more flowers around your garden and help bring in some more bees. Okay, my backyard. I have refrigerator pickles from last year and am worried to eat them. Can I use them in the compost? Um, I would say, let's see, you probably use vinegar for your brine. I would say definitely dump out the vinegar first. I've never tried using vinegar in my compost, but then as far as I'm concerned, you can probably um, throw the rest of them in your compost pile. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to. So um, give that a go. All right, we'll take a couple more questions here before we have to sign off. 
and this is a comment from Patio Gardener. Thanks Kim and Camera Guy for all the time you put into these videos. I know we all enjoy them so much. This is my second year gardening and it's looking good so far. Thanks to your tips. I am so glad to hear that, Patio Gardener. Um, we love producing the garden content for you guys. It's a joy for us to be able to share what we love to do. Camera Guy, I think, is just killing it with the, the camera um, angles and all the great filming lately. I don't know if you guys saw the salsa video over the weekend, but he really did a great job filming it. And we had so much fun um, doing that video, and I'm really glad that it's helping you grow your own veggies. So guys, if you have not caught the salsa garden video, let me just show you the salsa garden here. Um, it was so much fun to plant. It's over there in that big purple container. Um, there's going to be some peppers, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and I, guess, I think that's about it. There were four varieties of vegetables. We fit a ton in there and we are going to come back and do a harvest video. And then I think, what do you guys think? Do you think we should get camera guy on here to make some salsa for us? I think that would be a lot of fun. So um, you guys are gonna wanna make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that because we're gonna have a lot of fun with that salsa garden over the weekend. Now, some people have asked me if it's too late to plant um, peppers and tomatoes from a seed for the salsa garden. I have that salsa garden seed collection. Um, what you wanna do is, it really depends on your growing season. If you live in a northern climate where maybe you have a shorter growing season, you may wanna pick up a couple of pepper and tomato transplants from your garden center just to get some going right away. But if you're in the south, like here in California, Texas, Arizona, places that have long growing seasons, you can start your seeds right now and you'll have peppers and tomatoes to put out in the garden in about six weeks. So pick up the salsa garden seed collection, get some peppers started, some tomatoes started. The onions grow very quickly. The cilantro takes a few weeks to sprout. But then if you keep it shaded, you know, well, it'll kind of depend on the temperatures as far as cilantro goes. But definitely get your seeds started and put some transplants in at the same time again so you can succession plant and have the harvest coming all summer long. Peppers will overwinter a lot of times, so you can even have your peppers going well into the fall and possibly into the winter time. They're a very, they're a plant that is very um, hardy in the winter time as long as you mulch it. So I'm seeing a lot of people um, fly by that say, um, yes, let's have camera guy uh, plant some or uh, make some salsa and um, we are going to go for it, guys. OK, <laughs> OK, Sandy B. Oh, I answered Sandy B's question about hand pollinating. Um, yeah, I, I answered that question about her hand pollinating. Yes, if they're inside in the screen cage, you definitely do need to hand pollinate because you don't have the bees in there. Okay, um, let me see if there's any other question here. Good companion plant for a cucumber. Um, gosh, I, I don't really do a whole lot with companion planting. Um, I've got a um, tomato planted right next to it and some lettuce right back here. The lettuce is actually on its second wind. I thought it would bolt. We had some hot days and it is just, it's loving all the rain we're having. Isn't this beautiful, this red romaine? Um, some peas are planted right here, but I wouldn't necessarily call that a companion plant for a cucumber, but they're actually still hanging on in spite of a few hot days. They're liking the cool days. So if anyone knows a good companion plant for cucumbers, pop it in the chat here and let us know. Okay, guys, I think we're going to sign off for today. Don't forget about the Happy Monday sale. It's a good chance to stock up for the summer, grab the late summer garden seed collection that has cucumbers, squash, some baby dwarf tomatoes and some uh, Thumbelina zinnias and use the code GARDENFRESH. You get 15% off today and tomorrow. So I would love for you to get started right away with a discount. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed our cucumber video today. It was really fun to chat out here with you in the garden. Oh, I forgot to say, we are not having a live stream next Monday. All right, guys, it's Memorial Day here in the U.S. We're going to take the day off. Hopefully have a family barbecue or do something with the kids. And I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day as well. So thank you so much, guys, for joining us today and hanging out. We'll see you again in two weeks, two Mondays from today at noon Pacific time. So have a great couple of weeks. We'll see you on YouTube for our videos this week as well. All right, guys, see you later.